what's going on YouTube welcome back to Jake and Gaming so it has been a while since I posted my last video I do apologize about that but I've just been you know really busy with school I've had some family issues that have occurred uh, you know things that are going on back in the East Coast with my kids and at this point you know I am I do want to continue doing this just as a hobby <coughs> oh, excuse me but right now uh you know the main reason why it's taking me so long to do videos is simply because you know working on a master on my master degree which i just finished my last my uh i just finished my class a week or so ago and now i'm down to the last two classes and as soon as i get those two classes done i'm going to be applying for a job you know back on the east coast so i can be closer to my kids okay so keep in mind my kids live on you know live in georgia and i'm living in uh colorado so i only get to see my kids once you know and that's pretty much during the summertime if i'm lucky maybe during the holidays so whatever spare time i have is dedicated to either studying typing up a paper do reading or something of that nature and that's pretty much why when i make a video the next video isn't for like two weeks to a month i, I really you know i am trying to make videos a, you know a little more closer together but just understand that's just what i've got going on and doing whatever it is I need to do to get closer to my kids, you know, that's going to be a priority over anything else. So that being said, as always, welcome to all the new subscribers. And there are a there are quite a few new subscribers since my last video. So thank you uh, for subscribing to everyone else. Again, as always, it's greatly appreciated. I appreciate your patience and you know for sticking around. Um, it, and again, that I really wish I could do something for you guys, but my, you know, channel just isn't big enough where I could really start doing those kind of things. If my channel does, then definitely. But just you know, just keep that in mind that I do, uh, I do at least appreciate you guys stopping by, and you know, watching whatever you know shit video I post. Now, anyway, so a few things have happened in the gaming community over the past few weeks. Um, we had this chick, uh, what's her name? Bad Bunny, I think is her name. And that's, this chick is basically just, you know, yelling and screaming at people about how, uh, you know, if you're not paying her, you're leeching and you're just a bunch of, you know, nonsense. And originally I was going to do a video on her, but then I decided, you know what? No, fuck this chick. I'm not going to give her any extra clout or whatever. She's not really even deserving of it. And... <clears throat> Then over the weekend, I saw Wings of Redemption, and he's basically doing the same thing. Now keep in mind, there are a lot of YouTubers who do this shit, and I believe Twitch streamers as well. And you know, this sh there's just something about a guy doing this in today's age. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I come from a different you know generation or a different time. Now keep in mind that we didn't have YouTube when I was a kid. Okay, we didn't have internet. We didn't have cell phones. We didn't have any of that shit. Okay, if I had known that all that hey, there's gonna be this awesome thing called YouTube, and all you have to do is just make a, a video a week <coughs> or stream on Twitch and make money, and there are you know millionaire YouTubers out there. If I had known that's all I had to do, then or if that had been available back in the 90s when I was in high school, then who knows? Maybe I probably would have been one of those guys, but you know, that's just not the case. So for me, when seeing a guy do this crap, that I, I can't fucking stand that shit. You know, it's bad. I mean, you've got other guys. You no, know, another major one is you know Dark Side Phil. You know DSP Gaming. He's been doing this shit for how long? Especially when it comes to tax season. I mean, every, anytime tax season comes rolling around, here he comes doing. You know, he's on his begathon, and now I think he just filed for bankruptcy and that's not looking good because the, you know they posted the his bankruptcy uh, paperwork and keep in mind I filed for bankruptcy from my first marriage oh god I don't know where I'm finding these women <laughs> but as but things weren't so great in that marriage and as a result I had to file for bankruptcy and I can tell you they go through your finances with a fine to fucking comb. And if they find out you're lying, then, you know, you can be, you know, you know, a lot of bad shit happens. You know, they cancel your, you know, chapter 13 protection. So now all of those creditors are coming after you again. It's, it can be a mess. And they were very clear 
to make sure that everything was everything that you have put down was truthful and they went through all of my finances and they asked do you really need two cars well yeah you know we both have you know i had a job and my uh then wife had a job so we're like yeah we need both of these cars okay can you sell any of this stuff so you can pay off some of the debt you know things like that so i was the happiest person when you know i paid off my chapter 13 uh, bankruptcy and that was in 2012 when i paid that off and i remember the chapter 13 trustee told me that i was the first person to pay off a bankruptcy in a couple of years so if you go on and their videos <clears throat> on youtube uh, regarding dark side phil's bankruptcy and you can see all the holes and all the false things that he's putting down there he's gonna fuck himself really bad okay it's not gonna be pretty for him you know that it is what it is okay and again he's one of those guys where he's constantly begging for money so we've got this guy uh, and, and you know wings of redemption he i think he used to be like a really big uh, call of duty player or something of that nature but uh, I, don't, I don't know all right guys that i hate to be like this but if you want this stream to continue it's going to be ten dollars an hour so we need to make ten dollars of donations per hour for this to continue i'm just gonna get off it's like i this is this is this is cancer like this is not fun at all because like i'm more ready to get off it's, it's not even that it's like it's like why do people always want to f with me to this level it's like like these people are like stopping me from trying to earn a living at this point oh Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Stop! So, what I don't understand is how the hell do you have this sense of entitlement? You know, I, I, I don't get it. I, I just don't. And I don't know, again, I, I come from a different generation. We were taught differently. I, but then again, with this current generation, everyone has this, sen this overinflated sense of entitlement. You know, people think that just because I'm watching you, that I owe you some kind of donation tip or I should just give you money but in the but I'm not really receiving anything in return how did my whole speech about how I need subs and to get the stream going if you like the content blah 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 how that results in zero subs there are regulars here five dollars a month how are you have hours of time to watch me and not five dollars I don't know. What are you doing with your life where you have hours of time to watch Twitch and not $5 to provide for the content that you're watching? There are so... Look at... I have a wall of non-subs. This is fucking actually really heartbreaking because it's like people just really have no... They really don't respect me as a content creator. So if I'm going to give you money, then, you know, I, I expect something in return, okay? There are a couple of channels that I do donate money to, but I'm getting some kind of, you know, return. I'm getting some kind of bang for my buck, okay? Either, you know, these are channels that uh, talk about IT or they're talking about tech. They're showing you how to build a gaming computer. They're showing you how to build an AR-15 which I find I had to put my AR-15, you know, project kind of on the shelf right now. <coughs> because my child support went from 1500 up to 19 goddamn hundred. <sighs> I pay $1,900 a month in child support. <laughs> oh, God, somebody help me. But anyway, I'm, the point is, you, you know, I'm getting something for my money. You know, I'm, you know, for example, there's a channel, you know, it's a Gundam. If you haven't been to his channel, please go to his channel, okay? He's probably one of those last, you know, bastions of truth or whatever the fuck you want to call it. You know, if you watch his channel and he's giving you, you know, like a review of a game or he, he's on a, he's just giving a rant, he's telling you how it is, okay? But he's also very entertaining. Channels like that, I don't mind 
pulling five bucks out of my pocket or pulling 10, 15, maybe even 20. There are a couple of channels where I've donated some, you know, 20 bucks or so to a channel. Okay, but again, I'm getting something in return. If you're just sitting on your fat ass playing Call of Duty and that's all you're doing and you're expecting me to give you some kind of money, you're out of your fucking mind. The other thing, I, I don't understand why in God's name would these people talk to their subscribers the way they do. And I know some people say, oh, it's just an act or, <clears throat> you know, it's. You know, that's just their shtick or whatever the hell you want to call it. You know, bullshit. I call bullshit because they do this shit all the time, especially DSP Gaming. That's his whole fucking thing. It's e-begging. That's all he does. He begs for money. Okay? Same thing with Bad Bunny and Wings of Redemption. Fuck these people. Okay? If you talk to me like that, I'm fucking done with you. Okay? You're. I won't even bother going to your fucking channel. Okay? If that's your fucking attitude. If... I have to give you money just to watch you play Call of Duty. I, I, I never really understood that. Again, that's kind of, you know, this current generation. You know, my daughter likes to do that. She loves to watch people play Minecraft. For the life of me, I can't figure it out. I'll ask her, well, hey, let's play Minecraft. And she's like, no, I'd rather just watch other people play it. So I, I just will never understand that, but that's just how things are. And that's fine. But... Again, you will never catch me talking to my subscribers like that. Okay, even right now, if I were to do some shit like that, you'd see my subscriber count probably drop down to zero by tomorrow. Okay, I, I'm not a big channel. Uh, I mean, but regardless, you know, I think right now I have 616 subscribers now. <clears throat> okay, it doesn't matter if I've got 616, 616,000, or 6 million subscribers. That's just not how you fucking treat people. But what really sickens me is that with Bad Bunny, Wings of Redemption, DSP, they have their supporters, okay? She has her White Knights, which is just really just sick. And there was a video of some guy defending her on YouTube, and this guy, I I couldn't find the video, I, or, you know, because it's, it's already, like, almost 1 o'clock, so I gotta wrap this up here pretty soon. But this guy was just a classic beta male. You can tell this guy's father failed him, okay? This guy probably heard the words, you disappoint me, from his father on probably a weekly basis when this guy was a kid. Okay, he's out there defending Bad Bunny. And same thing with Wings of Redemption. He has his... I just don't understand that. Why in God's name would you give this guy money when he's acting like this? Fuck this guy. Fuck DSP, fuck Bad Bunny, or anyone else who acts like that. Okay, the thing is, <clears throat> you can't have this over-inflated sense of entitlement. Your viewers don't owe you anything. Okay, they don't have to go to your channel. And, you know, if I could, I mean, I, mean, I just lost my fucking train of thought, Jesus Christ. But the point is, I'm just going to wrap this up. You should consider yourself grateful that you don't have to get out of bed. You don't have to punch a clock. You don't have to, you know, go answer to a boss for shit. You can get up <coughs> and do it whenever the fuck you want to do it. Okay, and if that were me, I'd be fucking extremely grateful. But, you know, that's not me. I have to go to a job. I, you know, I don't mind going to my job. I get paid very well to do what I do. Okay, not to mention I have my retire my military retirement that supplements my income. Okay, and along with my disability through the VA. So financially, I'm doing okay. You know, I'm not doing bad. But again, in, you know, in a way, the subscribers are kind of like your boss. I'm not going to go into my boss's office and go mouth off. You know, security would throw my ass out on, on the fucking snow. So is this snowing right now? That's supposed to snow tomorrow, actually. But anyway, again, guys, you know, I'm <coughs> so I know, it, like I said earlier, I know it's been a month since my last video. And again, you know, I'm just really busy uh, trying to wrap up this master degree. Trying to, stu I'm studying for this FAA uh, small UAS license, um, so I got to go take that exam, and I'm just trying to get all the qualifications I can get under my belt, so I can hopefully get a job that's closer to my kids because this is just wearing, it's just wearing me down not being able to be around my kids, and it's taking a toll on them. My kids are young; they're two and eight, so you know I get to talk to them every day over the phone, but that's just not enough anymore. So, but anyway, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I am so sorry. 
But again, uh, welcome to all the new subscribers, and I do greatly appreciate all of you for you know sticking around and not leaving. I will try my best to try and kick these videos out. But again, please just understand this to me. It's a hobby. You know, I don't make a living off of YouTube at all. Right now, I mean, I can't even you know. I don't even have an AdSense account because I, I don't have a thousand subscribers. But uh, at the rate I'm going, I'll probably have that in a couple of months, give or take. Probably by summertime, maybe. And, you know, if I start making some money off of YouTube, hey, great. If not, not a big deal. Well, anyway, this, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up because it is 1 o'clock. i got to get ready for work tomorrow. So, let me know what you think down below about all the e-begging that's going on on YouTube. You know, do you guys... Give these people money or do you just tell them to fuck off, fuck off, you know, so let me know down below and I will see you guys next time.